Throughout the Binding of Isaac games, the mother of Isaac is seen as the ultimate evil behind Isaac's detrimental hallucinations and mental trauma. The mother has caused Isaac to have frequent hallucinations and also seeing himself as a demon. Isaac has been so badly abused by his mother that he fantasizes killing himself or even using drugs. The mother beats Isaac and locks him in his room, keeps verbally abusing him and even threatens him with a knife. But things weren't always this bad. There were times when Isaac's mother was happy and kind to Isaac, when the father was present. Today we will go over all the evidence provided and analyze why the mother became so evil. Hi folks, I'm our your narrator. This video will contain massive spoilers and sensitive subjects. With those in mind, let's get right into the video. Isaac lives alone with his mom in a house. Things seem fine at first, but soon, imperfections show through the cracks. The mother verbally and physically abuses Isaac to the point that Isaac sees himself as a demon. He also starts hallucinating and seeing demons and monsters. This leads to him killing his cat unintentionally, presumably to save it from the non-existing demons. Eventually, Isaac locks himself in the same chest he put his cat in and takes his last breaths as the oxygen slowly runs out, leading to his death. While in the chest, his past events flash before him. At first, things were fine. The father was present. The mother was happy. Isaac played with his cat and loved it. The mother was kissing Isaac goodnight after he was saying his prayers, knowing a higher power watches over him. Isaac's mother gave him wigs and dressed him up as a girl, presumably because she wanted a girl. Isaac didn't seem to mind it that much, but things slowly turn sour when the father leaves the mother and Isaac behind without saying goodbye. The mother slowly loses her sanity. She becomes extremely religious to the point of hearing voices. She blames Isaac for everything and keeps saying that Isaac is a deadbeat just like his father. She threatens him with a knife. She keeps crying and praying more, presumably to seek refuge with a higher power in her most desperate times. But instead, she becomes more deluded and damaged mentally, to the point of hearing voices. Isaac's mother spreads missing child posters around and finally finds Isaac's remains in the chest after a few years. This makes the mother immensely upset, which leads to her death as well, presumably. The mother suffered from depression and mental trauma already after the deadbeat father leaves. But it gets a lot worse after Isaac's death. In the afterlife, Isaac defeats dogma, the religious set of principles which he cannot question, defeats the beast in the underworld, and then goes to heaven, where an entity takes the shape of a father figure for him, who encourages Isaac to tell his own story how he wished it to be, to become his reality. Therefore, Isaac finally has a better life in his afterlife with a father figure he never had in the real world. This is not a direct reason why the mother is horrible to Isaac, but an element that fueled her hatred towards Isaac. In the Isaac's memories, we can see the mother gifted him a wake. Isaac was content with the gift and wore it outside and in many occasions. He's a child after all. He didn't have a concept of different genders and how people might judge him. However, it was something that made him get bullied, a memory which he's not very fond of. In some photographs, we can see him standing next to the mom, fully dressed as a girl with the blonde wig, resembling the mother. Therefore, we can safely assume that the mother wanted a daughter, more than a son. She could have possibly had been nicer to a girl, as she related herself to a girl more than a boy and possibly saw Isaac similar to her deadbeat husband, an aspect which we're going to talk about in more depth in the next point. Isaac's mother, who is called Maggie, as heard in one of the audio clips within the gameplay, saw Isaac to be just like her husband. She said that Isaac is self-destructive and as bad as his father. She punished him constantly and inconsiderately because she saw him just like the father who left them behind. We see the mother as a monster in the game, 
and rightfully so because she's absolutely horrible in every single aspect but trying to understand her things start looking a little different she's just as mentally tormented and abused as isaac by the father now she wants a target to blame and punish for all of her mental trauma and pain who better than isaac her child who resembles the father the reason for all their misery and problems the father was a deadbeat man who stole money from the mother's purse while she was sleeping he also spent all of their savings for his own selfish reasons presumably for alcohol he didn't care about maggie the mother and neither isaac the father was not willing to solve any problems when maggie pleaded with him instead he decided to leave which maggie begs him not to not to leave her and isaac as they won't be able to live on their own the father leaves anyway leaving isaac and maggie alone to suffer on their own while stealing all the money and spending all the savings i spent it it's gone just get over it gone how can you have spent our savings he's self-destructive and disturbed just like his father look at who he has to look up to if you're drunk again aren't you shut up man shut up you just keep pushing me like this i'm leaving good leave we'll be fine without you abandon us like you abandoned yourself you need to repent you need to confess your sins and become saved. Let his light inside you cleanse your you soul. You are insane. You are taking this too far. Did you hear how you sound? Pray with me. Pray for your salvation. Come, pray with us, Isaac. Where are you going? Wait. We need you. Your son needs you. The mother then gets more depressed and delusional. She leans heavily on religion to comfort herself, but things only get worse as she becomes delusional with the biblical stories and enforces them on Isaac, a little child with schizophrenia presumably, who will only get mentally tormented by the stories and visions. Maggie spends her time watching Christian broadcasts, reading Bible and praying, she forces Isaac to do so as well. The religious story slowly shaped the mental capacity of Maggie, making her lose the sense of herself and the real world she lives in. She becomes bitter and calls Isaac a demon consistently. She threatens Isaac with knives and attempts to kill him, just like the story of binding of Isaac in the Bible, which might be Isaac's imagination. We can't say for sure if this event actually took place or not. Maggie hears voices and gets involved with religion more and more. It won't help her much though, as she's already mentally screwed up past the level of return after the father leaving. Poor Isaac gets all the blames and share of mental trauma. It's possible that Isaac suffers from schizophrenia as he visually sees things such as demons and monsters which he reads about. The mother, or Maggie, was not always so cruel and harsh on Isaac. In fact, we can see from the memories that she loved Isaac. She kissed him on the forehead every night and dressed him up as a girl and gifted him with wigs, which is her own twisted way of showing love. Things get bad when the father leaves. This possibly causes Maggie to sustain mental problems and become deluded. She was mentally abused by the father before, having her money stolen and lied to, having her savings spent by the father for whatever reason, maybe alcohol and unfaithfulness. Maggie spends her days crying being all on her own with an unfaithful husband who left her with a child. She possibly struggles paying off the mortgage now and has problems with money as all of her savings were spent by her husband and her money was stolen by him too. She is in a very bad situation, being mentally tormented and seeing herself fading away to darkness. She is extremely bitter, corrosive and self-destructive, lashing out on what she can and whatever is close to her, a child 
who resembles the father. She punishes an innocent child because of her own mental issues. She probably isn't inherently a bad person, but the circumstances have caused her to be one. We can even see she becomes extremely upset after she can't find Isaac. She spreads missing child posters and bursts out crying when she finds Isaac remains in the chest. She presumably dies right after due to heartbreak as we can see somber colors and a tree without leaves. That about does it for this video in a new theory series about Binding of Isaac. If you enjoyed this video, show the love by hitting the like button and stay tuned for more by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your one and only host R, till the next time, have a fantastic day.